In this lesson, we'll create a windowsill detail by importing an existing detail drawn in DWG format. First, let's create a detail component family. Click the menu browser and select New Family. Then, browse to Training Files, Imperial, Templates, and double click Detail Component. Now, click the menu browser and select Save As, and then choose Family. In the Save As dialog, for name, enter Window Sill and click Save. Let's import a detail from a DWG file. Click the Insert tab and from the Import panel, click Import CAD. Then browse to Training Files, Imperial, and select Wood Window Details Sill. For colors, select Preserve and click Open. On the view control bar, click the scale and select 3 inch equals a foot. Next, select the horizontal reference plane and size it down and then do the same thing for the vertical one. Then, right click in the drawing area and select zoom to fit. Next, let's align the imported detail with the reference planes because when we later insert the detail in a view, the reference plane intersection defines its origin. Click the Modify tab and from the Edit panel, click Align. Then, select the horizontal reference plane and then select the lower horizontal edge of the sill. Then, Select the vertical reference plane and then select the right edge of the wall fastener plate. Then click Modify. Next, we'll explode the detail. Select the detail and from the Import Instance panel, click the Explode drop down and select Full Explode. A warning dialog displays notifying you that some of the lines in the detail may be slightly off-axis. This could cause problems if you want to add geometry to the detail. Because we do not need to add geometry to the detail, close the warning dialog without making changes. Next, we'll filter and convert elements to use similar Revit architecture object styles. Using a window selection, Select the detail. Then, on the status bar, click Filter. In the Filter dialog, click Check None. And then select Lines A Detail Heavy and click OK. The lines from the A Detail Heavy layer highlight in blue. In the Type selector, select Heavy Lines. Then press Escape. Using the same method, filter and convert the medium lines and also the light lines. Then, from the View tab, select Thin Lines on the Graphics panel. Next, we will remove unused object styles from the family. Click the Manage tab, and from the Family Settings panel, click the Settings drop-down and select Object Styles. Then, select A Detail Heavy and click Delete, and Yes. 
using the same method. Remove a detail LGT and a detail MED. Then click the imported objects tab and remove all the layers one by one. Then click OK. Our detail is now ready to be inserted in detail views in our Revit architecture projects. Save and close the detail component family and proceed to the next lesson as that concludes this lesson.